Hi everyone. Um, today's Friday, the 5th of um, February, and it's day three for me for vlogging. Um, I've just come home from school drop off, uh, end of the week, and my youngest is absolutely shattered and didn't look like he wanted to go today. Um, but anyway, he's, he's okay. Left, left the classroom with lots of other children crying and the teacher trying to comfort them, which is always awful. I think as a mum, your heart goes out to all of them and to the mums that had to extricate themselves. Um, I just, yeah, I've been inspired by watching all of you other beautiful um, people that have been doing the, the vlogging and um, just how... Um, open and real and um, vulnerable you've allowed yourselves to be um, and and I guess it makes me feel like I need to honour you guys by doing the same uh, so today I thought I would show my face and um, be okay with just sitting and, and looking at you guys and letting you see me. Uh, the other thing I realised also was that I haven't actually I just jumped in there with um, munching on cheesels and dancing around my house without actually saying anything about me. Um, so I'll just give you a little bit of a background. Um, uh, I grew up in Perth um, and as a, as a little girl I loved to make things. I'd cut up um, my dad's Amy export beer cartons and create elaborate two-storey houses for my Barbie with a lift that I'd pull up through the second story so she could go to her bedroom. Um, uh, growing up, I would just sit and draw. Um, so my parents and my brother would all be watching a TV program and I would just sit watching them and studying them and sketching them. Um, I had one of those, um, oh, what are they called? I've forgotten. I want to say Skeletric, but that's the boys game, the um, sketcher thing. It'll come to me later. <laughs> um and I yeah went to school in Perth. Um, wanted I, I did year eleven and twelve art, and uh, I think I was one point off getting ducks of art, and really wanted to go to uni and study fine art. But um, my parents guided that decision by, I suppose yeah, steering me down the avenues where they felt there were more career opportunities. It's the same old story, I think, and um, I. I went down the science path and into occupational therapy, which I have absolutely no regrets over. And um, in retrospect, it all worked out perfectly. Um, I think had I, yeah, sort of gone through that that schooling of art, I might not have found the way I found art as a more mature adult, um, which is a much more heart experience and um, discovery of me through art and the power of what art can give other people. Um, so, yeah, I think I might have stayed in my head too much if I'd had all the technical stuff. But, um, yeah, I still have great respect for people that have done fine art and the knowledge that they've got. I, I'm kind of a little bit jealous. I wish I knew what to do with all the yummy art supplies and substrates and things out there. Um, but that's exciting because I've got lots to learn still. Uh, it keeps me interested. Um... I yeah, graduated from uni and um, uh, had, a, had a not so great relationship but having said that it gave me the gift of my beautiful eldest son. Um, I was essentially in a domestic violence relationship in that situation and um, you know with the support of my family managed to get out of that and um, I actually I went back to work not that long after um, and my parents looked after my eldest son for a while but I found I wasn't coping, hadn't dealt with all of what I'd experienced and chose to take a whole year off um, and just concentrate on myself and my son and during that time I um, taught myself to do uh, body release type work, um, meditating and um, yoga and I got to a really really beautiful place in terms of um, just centeredness and um, knowing me and, and peace and all through that time having counselling as well. So um, I'm very, very passionate about helping other women in similar situations and helping to empower them and um, 
get them out of those sort of situations or help them get themselves out of those situations and, and hopefully also to avoid those situations. So, yes, that's something I feel very, very strongly about um, because of my own experiences with it. Um, and, yeah, a life kind of just took off after that. Um, I asked the, the great gods or whoever is up there to... Um, help me find my feet and, and get on track and never find myself in that situation again and I, and I haven't. Um, I was lucky enough to meet my beautiful husband when I moved up to Broome in northwest of Western Australia um, and we relocated over to South Australia for a period of time to be near his family and during that time we, we did IVF to have my beautiful middle son and um, I found that we weren't farm people we were living in the middle of South Australia and really missing the coast and um, and I was really missing my family and and everything over this side as well um, in WA so we came back and we moved down to Dunsborough um, and yeah I just love it here uh, if I can't be in Broome I loved Broome it's very much part of me um, yeah this isn't the other place I would be um, other than Broome um, and yeah I kind of just feel like I live in a, a very like a storybook of all these wonderful rich characters down here and um, I'm so not a city person so I love seeing familiar faces and people I know and just having that that connection with community um, and I, yeah I forgot to say when I lived up up north I had my own practice treating people with back injuries and back pain or soft tissue problems doing um, my fascial release and trigger point release um, uh, but I've, as I've oh, I forgot to say that when we moved here I had my third son as well um, and I actually it didn't happen in that order I, I uh, found out I fell pregnant naturally so I didn't need IVF and uh, unfortunately miscarried after a few months and um, something else I feel very passionate about for women um, and supporting them and just holding heart space for women going through that sort of thing as well. But um, a few months after that I fell pregnant again with my board, gorgeous youngest little boy and um, he's a little snuggle bug and um, all my boys actually are very, very affectionate so I'm very, very blessed. Um, and after he was a little bit, my youngest was a little bit older, I started up my practice again, treating, and it became more of a very much a holistic approach, incorporating counselling. I did a bit of counselling up north as well, uh, with case management, helping people get back to work after injury or disability. Um, and now, since I... Uh, Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm missing another step. My mother-in-law came over and stayed with us a few times when we were living up north and here. And um, she's an avid sewer and very, very talented with it. And um, she taught me how to make ragged quilts and I just got, it, it opened up my whole creativity again. Um, I couldn't get enough of it and, and started up a, a page on uh, Facebook called Bubble and Bear a few, few years ago making gorgeous little kids clothing I think I was trying to get my fix of not having a girl um not that I've got any regrets it's all absolutely meant to be how it is I'm a good mum to boys um but just to have the girly fix of clothing and all that sort of stuff I just started making lots of girls clothes and ruffle um, um pants and that sort of thing and then I came across um Kelly Ray Roberts online and um, took up the How to Make Your Creative Business Soar um, course with her and um, I'm still friends with some amazing women online through that course um, and that just made me sort of go right I need to be living as a creative being um, because that's my happy place and um, whilst I love the sewing I could see that I could bring my art back in again and probably incorporate like um, mixed media with textiles and that sort of thing as well um, and so that was over three years ago and I just cannot go a day without being creative I don't feel whole if I'm not being creative um, and I have been over the past couple of years trying my hardest to work out how to incorporate art into my therapy and whilst there's there's a certain appeal for me to go and study art therapy um, uh, 
it's it's a little bit tricky where I live to do that um, but also I'm not so sure that I want to be uh, rooted in that uh, sort of pathology side of um, art therapy um, I'm much more excited about um, helping people harness their own creativity and through that um, their personal growth and self-exploration and healing comes about um, so perhaps it's not so much people already diagnosed with with problems although it's a fine line often we're all undiagnosed with, with depression and I've certainly had my periods of time with depression um, so yeah I think I, I don't want to be in that medical model as such with um, being an art therapist but I know that I can work as an occupational therapist and um, uh, facilitate wellness groups so that I suppose it's um, coming from more of a preventative health approach and wellness and um, yeah that personal growth experience that's that's what fascinates me um, understanding self self exploration and getting right down to soul uh, and knowing who you are or at least connecting with who you are and um, oh my gosh this is just the perfect perfect way to do this I, I know I'm conscious of the fact that I drift around with my eyes and I'm talking and I still have difficulty looking and seeing and letting you see me um, and this has been a really interesting experience because we're seeing each other and oh my gosh as I said that there's so much vulnerability I'm feeling um, and I trust you guys uh, you know if I jump over there to who might in particular might view it I go in my head and I go into fear and I want to shut down but I'm not going to be the rabbit in headlights and do that I'm, um, I'm here um, I can see myself, uh, you know, uh, there's a critical side that wants to pick it apart and pick apart what I'm saying, but um, I know I've got a good heart and um, I'm learning, I'm human, I, you know, I fail sometimes and, and that, but um, I have good intentions uh, and I certainly love uh, spending the time with you guys and, and watching you guys um, vlogging as well and um, letting letting us see you so uh, I'm going to finish there I've got a really really sore throat I think it's turning into tonsillitis so I'm just going to take it easy today um, and uh, yeah I look forward to talking to you tomorrow okay see ya